boy. Oh boy. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome to the first coffee combos. The first, uh, honestly, piece of content that I'm making without a backdrop. Uh, kind of crazy. And you know, something that I realized, like literally right when I sat down to record this, not record this, stream this, right when I sat down to stream this and I immediately started talking into my microphone, I realized something immediately apparent, right? It's a very immediate thing. I'm going to say immediate as many times as I possibly can because it was very immediate. Um, it's very echoey. It's very echoey in here. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like from commentating so often in this room with a cheese it wall to suddenly not commentating with the cheese it wall, I was hearing some echo and I was like, whoa, like, wow, that actually happened. Um, anyways, what's up, my dudes? Welcome to Coffee Convos. You already know what's good. We're chilling. We're hanging out. Uh, this stream was initially scheduled for 8 a.m. And uh, I unfortunately I had to push it back uh, two hours and the reason why is because last night I literally couldn't sleep like I, I have no clue what came over me uh, But I was just thinking about so much I was thinking about like prepping all, all the stuff I have to prep for this move and all that uh, and I kind of just I couldn't rest like my mind was just constantly moving So that's why uh, the stream was delayed by a couple of hours because I literally couldn't sleep and I needed some sort of rest So I apologize uh, for that, but we're here. We're rocking and rolling doing the good darn thing I hope you all are all having a fantastic morning. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out I'm in a very just like chill mood, you know, I'm in a very like just relaxing mood You know, that's honestly the appeal here. So we're rocking and rolling. Uh, we got Adam in the stream he says Frank looks like someone broke up with broke wait broke up with with him I bet it was the cheese it wall. You saying I look like I'm just getting out of a breakup. Okay. <laughs> I don't I don't know whether to be offended by that or not, but all right. Hmm. How you doing, man? How you doing? We got Liddy Libby up in the stream. Uh Liddy said, hey at work counting corn, but wanted to say hi. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? Hopefully uh, you're having a great day. Thank you for coming out. We got Jordan Time, we got Ryan, we got James Eastwood, uh, we got Attempted Pro, of course. How you doing, man? He says, Hope you're I hope you got some sleep asteroid. No worries about the delay. Yeah, you know, I got an okay amount of sleep. Oh my god. Okay, no, it's not Megalovania. I got really excited. We're playing the Undertale soundtrack just because I feel like it fits Coffee Combo so perfect. And also, with me playing Delta Rune and stuff, which by the way, new new Delta Rune episode coming out today. Um, I'm just I've just been in a very you know uh, Undertale-y mood, but yeah, I'm doing good. Hopefully, you're doing well as well. We got my dad up in the stream with Rushmaster. How you doing, Dad? How you doing? Uh, why do you have finals in the middle of June? Finals in the middle of June? I do not. I do not have finals. I'm done with high school, boy. I'm out. I'm out, boy. How you doing, Frank? What's up, Jacob? How you doing, man? How you doing? Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. So, last night, I was thinking a lot um, just about the setup, really. Like, you know, taking down the cheese at wall and all, it's really made me, like, want to brainstorm more about how I'm actually going to make this Atlanta setup work. Uh, and I was looking into monitor stands because one thing that I realized, if you guys see my other camera angle here, um, I usually have my other monitor mounted on the wall, like on top of my ultra wide. Like this is the setup that I typically go with. And I think it's the setup that I want to continue going with uh, in Atlanta. But the problem, right, that I'm realizing is that I'm going to have an up desk in Atlanta. We can't hear the music. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I got you. I got you. No worries at all. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Let me know if that's a little better. I mean, the music itself is, is very quiet. It's very mellow, so it's going to be hard to hear to begin with. Um, but, you yeah, know, basically, the desk is going to be physically moving up and down, which means I can't mount anything on the wall. So, so I was looking at, uh, and I'll go ahead and pull this up real quick, like. I was looking at this monitor stand. Oh, wait, actually, can I show this? Oh, boy, I don't know if I can show that on camera, actually. Does it show my address? I might have just leaked my own address. No, it doesn't. I'm fine. But anyways, basically, just to just to be safe, because I'm not trying to take any risks here. Um, even though I guess I'm moving out, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, no, it's basically just a regular monitor stand. I'm trying to figure out though, it like clasps the desk, and I'm trying to figure out how to get the monitor up there at a, at enough of a height because with it being mounted to the desk, it has to be like pretty tall up and I don't know if there's a monitor stand that actually exists that can work like that just because it's a pretty lengthy height to just be simply attached to the desk like that um anyways let me turn on the music again I feel like the music is just so bipolar right now anyways uh yo we have a new member my boy thank you so much for the membership uh auditor da fires 
Fyrns. I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce names at all, but thank you so much for the membership. I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you. You just get access to videos early as well as member exclusive live streams, as well as loyalty badges, emotes, all that good kind of stuff. Why is there horror music? It's not horror music. It's it's Undertale. It's the Undertale soundtrack. I'll go ahead. I'll I'll skip through a little bit. We'll get a less uh, depressing song going on here. Fuck, I love pizza. Dude, heck yeah, man. Hey, comment down below. What's your favorite flavor of pizza? What are you guys feeling right now? Yo, Frank, I have vertigo, so if I go quiet, it's probably because I see everything spinning. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I see flames. Hopefully, you're all right, man. Hopefully, you're okay. Just try to take a deep breath. Sit down. Um, don't overexert yourself. All the great kind of stuff. Just try to try to remain... What the heck just happened? Oh, my God. The music just took a... Okay. Um. All right. Not even mad about it. But, yeah, hopefully, you're all right, man. Just try and take it easy. Um, flavor of pizza. Yes. Flavor of pizza. That you heard me. You heard me. I said that. I said that. That's right. That's right. Salami pizza always. Oh my God. That I've never had that, but it sounds amazing. That actually sounds incredible. Um, um, you showed your address, Frank. No, I just showed, hold up. I'm looking at it right now. I showed, I showed the town that I live in, in the zip code. That's not, that, that's not, that's not nothing. That's not already pri or public information. You guys know my PO box. That's not a problem. Um, Anyways, if there is no pineapple, there is no pizza. Oh, shit. It's like the pineapple is the main attraction there. The pizza is the side dish. I see you. I see you. I actually like pineapple pizza. I, I've talked about this before, but I actually don't mind it. It's not my favorite flavor of pizza, uh, but I like it. It's okay. Okay, I was worried. LOL. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Literally, could you imagine? Could you imagine like uh, like literally 10 days before I move and I'm out here leaking my address? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, hmm. Is that a Frank Convos? Because I am not seeing any coffee. I got coffee right here, my boy. Also, it's in a, you know, signature Asteroid Mania videos mug available at asteroidmerch.shop. You already know was good. Um, but, you know, speaking of the merch store, we're going to be revamping it very soon. I'm trying to think of, like, I'm, I'm still trying to plot this out. Because um, with Teespring and stuff, like, I, I, I like Teespring, but God, I hate Teespring, you know? Um, just the way they do things and like the way that like the basically what really bothers me is the way that you can customize your store like uh, on Teespring it's it's so complicated and it's so um, it's so just what's the word jank is the word it's so jank to set up a store through Teespring just because there's like not very many customize uh, customizing options and um, you know their product lineup and the quality of their products are fantastic but like everything else about Teespring kind of sucks. So, so, um, I'm thinking about moving the merch store to Streamlabs, actually, and this, this is like, it's, it's still up in the air, I'm not saying it's definite, uh, I'm thinking about moving the merch store to Streamlabs, though, because, A, Sean, thank you so much, he donates $25, and he says, hey, Frank, asked this before, and conventions got in the way, but work will have me coming through, uh, Tennessee quite a bit over the next month. So take, so can you take, uh, or can take you to lunch as congrats for graduating? Uh, bring Ryan Dylan, if you want my treat for a lot of y'all. Yo, Sean, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I mean, I won't lie to you. This next month is going to be incredibly busy, you know, with me moving and all that. Um, but I'll actually, I'll be back up in Tennessee a couple of times throughout the month. Um, just, you know, b visiting obviously. And then like 4th of July, I'll be back up to, to see family, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, if you want to just let me know, like, the details as to when you'll be up, I, uh, I would love to get lunch at some point. Absolutely, man, if it works out. 100%. 100%. Thank you so much, though, for the support. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Um, anyways, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so merch, right? Uh, get some hype on the chef, the chef for Sean. I'm flabbergasted. This man literally came through. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, so merch, right? Teespring is great, but it also is not. Um, so I'm looking into maybe doing Streamlabs, and the reason why I say Streamlabs, and you guys may be wondering, Asteroid, Streamlabs, that sounds kind of familiar. What's that? Uh, Streamlabs is like what runs my alerts. It runs, uh, the, uh, the, 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 like the member counter down here. It runs like all the recent super chats, recent members, that sort of thing. Really, really awesome program for streamers. Absolutely recommend it. Uh, and in that, in that program, if you run your merch through their merch store, you can actually get alerts on stream when people buy merch, which is really freaking cool. Um, so like if somebody were to buy a t-shirt right now, it would pop up and be like, blank, 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 just bought a t-shirt and I could be like, yay. Um, so that's super cool. Secondly, secondly, um, there's more customizability with the, with the store, which is awesome. So that's an appeal. It's just like, I don't know. 
I don't know. It's just it's tempting. There's definitely some huge pros and cons because, like, on the other hand, to give Teespring some credit, um, they they've always had really good quality, and uh, and also they have integration with YouTube, which is kind of cool. Like, you might if you scroll down, you might see um, like some some of my merch like down there beneath the video. That's really cool. Um, so there's 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 pros and cons. It's something to consider. I think I'll do some more research on it though. But I'm thinking about I'm thinking about going all out. Basically, I'll sell beanies. I'll sell like like limited edition beanies backpacks um, for like a month or whatever on Teespring, and then I'll switch over to Streamlabs. Uh, and basically, the reason why I, I would specifically do those items is because um, is because Teespring has those items and Streamlabs does not. So like I, by going to Streamlabs, I would be losing access to beanies. I'd be losing access to like a lot of the more niche products like backpacks. Um, so that, that's why what I would do is I would do like a limited run of all those things um, just to make them available for some period of time. And then I would, or may, maybe, you know, maybe I could make them like an on and off thing, you know, just because I use Streamlabs, there's no reason why I couldn't go and like do like a limited edition Teespring run. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think, I'll think about it. I, what, what I do know though, is that the merch needs a, needs a revitalizing. I think it's been about a year since we started the merch store. Uh, and it, it needs, it needs some more gas in the tank. If you know what I'm saying? Um, also my face is very pale right now. I'm sorry about that. Let me go ahead. Let me minimize this. It's so pale. Yo, Sean, my boy. Thank you so much, man. With the $2 super chat. He says, dude, Lapper shell backpack. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. I don't know. Like they're, they probably, um, actually I know for sure. Teespring isn't going to let me sell like a, like a custom shell backpack, but they have just regular backpacks that you can put your designs on. So I could get like a, like a backpack with like the Astrid Media videos on it. Actually, that's probably going to be my backpack um for like my next college school year so that's super exciting anyways god tier editor here yo bet i don't see ryan i don't see ryan where's he at where's he at uh frank an idea for that cheese at wall when a fan drops a hundred dollar bomb or higher you can immortalize them with their own cheese it brick and put their name on the box dude that would actually be awesome that would actually be awesome for sure for sure that's definitely an option um you know i i did something like that i did that with members i had like a little member wall for a couple of streams but then it became just so hard to keep up with um that uh, it just it kind of became a mess not gonna lie but the whole hundred dollar bomb thing that's a really good idea because then i don't have to keep track of like month to month whether people are still members you know that works out really well for sure uh, dang, just watched the video of you taking down the wall and was hoping it was um, it was just amazing editing and it was all fake. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry, man. Um, you know, if it makes you feel any better, the cheese wall is going to assume a new form. Uh, it's not gone forever. It's going to be coming back. It's going to be coming back in Atlanta. We're going to make uh, we're going to make a brand new wall out of the rubbles of this one. It's going to rise like a fucking phoenix. It's going to be sick. It's gonna be sick. I'm excited. I saw the LF 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 co-op in Ryan's cage lock. Both of them were funny, but I like the Ryan's cage lock more. Poor Mo. Oh boy. Yeah. In case you guys didn't know, I cameoed in their cage lock the other day. Oh boy. It was uh, it was a trip. It was a trip. I highly recommend it. It was a very funny trip, but it was a trip. And also, of course, you, you guys know the three way on Vinny's channel is just is just fantastic. We did an in bed episode. Um, it was actually actually ridiculous. Anyways, there's one lonely Sour Patch Kids box. Yeah, one sad little Sour Patch Kids box. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I'm actually really proud of, like, how we were able to pack this all up. Like, we, we did it pretty well. Like, th this is, like, this is a pretty effective start um, to my packing adventure. Also, I don't know what my hair is doing right now. It's just, that's just being annoying, man. My hair has been so off and on. It's been weird. Yo, Shiny, what's up, Shiny? What kind of pizza, though? I mean, I'm more of a pepperoni kind of guy, uh, but really, it can be any kind of pizza. Any kind of pizza you're feeling. Um, Live versus beanie? Yeah, absolutely. And the thing about beanies, too, um, that I've been having a lot of trouble with is, because uh, I've been I've been working on this for like a month now. Um, but the problem with beanies is that you can't do like any gradients. Um, so like the typical like Lapras logo that like the rebrand stuff we have with like the gradient, how it goes from like dark blue to light blue. You can't have that on a beanie. Uh, and the, also the image itself needs to be a lot bigger. Um, so it's just been, it's just been hard to get beanies right, to be honest. Like I, I, I might have to like make some pretty crazy adjustments and I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use the rebrand art, uh, for any merch, to be honest. Like that, that's, that's been something I've been working on for the best, uh, you know, couple, like, like month-ish. Um, but the problem with the rebrand art is that I don't think the resolution is high enough. And I don't know if the artist has it high enough to where uh, I could actually put it on merch. So 
Right now, we're kind of limited in terms of options, but I'm, I'm trying things out. I'm testing some things. And also, an, another thing is that the designs have to go through like an approval process um, before you can actually sell beanies and stuff, which is kind of wild. Uh, makes it a really tedious, annoying thing. So, I mean, as much as I love beanies, you guys know I fucking love beanies. I feel like I feel like we might have to make them like a commodity, um, like make like a limited time run. Just there's beanies then that's just it. That's just it, you know? Uh, and then and then we could launch the new merch store on, on Streamlabs. So, I don't know. But then but then also the thing with Streamlabs is I kind of have to, I have to, or, I have to order a shirt from them and see if the quality is good, you know? Because if it's not, then obviously I won't do it. Mm. So yeah. Anyways, 15 beanies fight to the death. <laughs> yeah, just kind of throw them up in the air and be like, get them. <laughs> Uh, and most likely in terms of price, they'll, they'll probably be, they'll probably be like 20 bucks. If I can get them lower than that, that'd be great. Um, that's, that's just kind of what I've been seeing on Teespring is like $20. I, I'll try and get them lower though. Cause I feel like, I feel like 17, 15 would be like more reasonable. Just make a beanie that says Astro Mania videos. Yeah. You know what I could do and what I was planning on doing, uh, is actually, and I, I think, I think it's even up on the merch store right now. Don't tell anybody I said this. Um, <laughs> Because I haven't really talked about it, but let me go to that's I just looked up asteroid. That's not what I wanted Asteroid merch dot shop. You already know what's good. You already know what's good. Shameless plug Um, if you look on here with the logo design Yeah, yeah, there are there are actually beanies available like like this You can actually purchase right now and I haven't talked about it and I haven't really like promoted it because I'm still like in the testing phase of like making sure this actually like looks good. But this design right here is a high enough quality. Like it was made for merch. Um, so it, that that's why I was able to put it on a beanie immediately. The rebrand stuff is, is a work in progress, but this is actually a thing. So if you guys like, if you guys want to scoop it up and let me know how the quality is, that'd be great. I'm probably going to scoop up one, one myself. But if we did a limited run of beanies, this, this would probably be the design. Most likely, probably, um, if I can get some, some other design on there, that'd be good. Like I could probably, I could probably get like this design on a beanie, but then I don't know how that would work just cause the design is very like horizontal, you know, cause you can, you can only print it in that little like band. Um, anyways, Hey Frank, do you run your audio through a software to make it sound so clearly or is that the mic? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, well the, well, in videos and stuff, I record my audio uh, into, uh, the cloud lifter, which boosts the signal. That's for this microphone because it's dynamic. So it's really quiet. It goes into a cloud lifter. And then from the cloud lifter, it goes into the focus, right? Which is my interface. Um, and that, that already sounds pretty good. Like just straight from the interface, my mic sounds pretty solid. It's a really nice mic. Uh, but then in post, I throw it into Adobe audition and for videos and stuff, I add, I add compression. I add normalization. Um, what else do I add? I add, something else <laughs> I know very specific but I, I do add some some presets in audition and then I export that and it makes it sound a lot better a lot more uh flat or not flat but just like like level you know because a lot of the times you know if you change if you're constantly changing volume with your voice which I do a lot like I'll go from like screaming to whispering uh basically what that does is it just kind of levels it all out so it's all the same level so that's what I do in post and then for streaming um, I actually, I do have some effects on my mic, basically, basically the exact same effects. I'll go ahead and show you guys actually, um, basically the exact same effects that I have on my, uh, an audition. I'm sorry. I can't speak today. I'm very tired, but yeah. So this is basically the exact same thing I have in audition too. Um, it's just, you know, the threshold ratio. I don't really know a lot about audio to be honest, but this is just what I use. Um, and it works pretty well. I basically just took this, the presets that I had in audition. And I tried to copy them as best as I could into OBS. So that way my audio would sound the same in, uh, videos and streams. And it works out. It works out. It's not perfect by any means, but it, it sounds okay. Um, yo Dylan, what's up Dylan? What's up Dylan? How you doing, man? He says 10 days. I know. I know. It's crazy, man. Oh boy. I got a drink for my Asteroid Merch Dot Shop exclusive mug. Mmm. Coffee never tastes so sweet. Yeah. No, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, that's that's literally why I delayed the stream today. Cause I was up all night last night just thinking about um you know just everything, man. Just everything coming up. Also, this song does not fit the mood. Give me a second. It's a good song. Shout out to Tem Shop, but 
yeah, no, it's just, I don't know. It's crazy. It's, you know, and the best way to describe it, and I've been saying this a lot, uh, but the best way to describe it is just, it's bittersweet. You know, it's really exciting. It's also very nerve wracking. And I was even talking to uh, my friend uh, Sapphire earlier today, but you know, it, it also hurts like leaving everybody that uh, is here. And I know like over these next couple of days, it's really going to start to set in and I'm going to get more and more feelsy, but overall, um, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready to work. Um, and I, I'm, I'm just excited for the future, man, honestly. And I, I was, I was like looking on Amazon last night. I was, you know, doing research. I'm on hashtag couch crew. You already know it's good. Um, I'm pretty sure I have my desk picked out. I have my couch picked out. My bed is still a work in progress. I'm not too picky about my bed though. So I, I'll probably just walk into Ikea and pick the first bed I find. Um, so, so yeah, that's all, that's all happening. And I've been looking into getting, getting a dedicated vlog camera. I'm thinking about scooping up the uh, the Sony A6400, which, if you guys don't know, is a fantastic camera. Um, that's going to be like me and Ryan's uh, studio camera. It's also going to be the camera that we use for skits and intro moments and basically anything that's not at the desk. Um, so that's super duper exciting. Hashtag bed crew. <laughs> Yo, bet I won't. Bed I won't. Oh. What? Okay, all right, all right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. This is coffee combos. This ain't this ain't your typical hype live stream. Um, yeah, no, though. It's what the fuck is my beanie doing? It's exciting though. There's so much coming up, man. And in terms of the merch, um, yeah, just look out. Just look out. Yo, Sean! Sean! Oh my god, man. Thank you. Thank you. He says, Frank, and I hit you up with a DM on Discord. Also, now that Dylan is here, make sure he knows he and Ryan are invited too. Yo, bet. In case you uh, don't know, Dylan, uh, update for you. Sean said that he's going to be coming through Tennessee quite a bit. And uh, he was saying that we could possibly all go out to get lunch at some point, which I know would be like a four hour drive from us. But I was saying if I happen to be like, you know, in town during that time, because I mean, I'll be coming back up throughout the next couple of months to, you know, see family, that sort of thing, and just visit. Um, you know, as I'm moving in and getting settled, but anyways, yeah, no, hundred percent hit me up on, uh, discord. I'm I'll be honest. I'm really bad with discord. Uh, Twitter would be my preferred way to, to chat if you have Twitter, uh, but discord works as well. I just, I just got to make sure I check it after this. Thank you so much though, Sean. I really appreciate that, man. That's incredibly generous of you. Thank you, man. Um, that's incredibly nice of you. Sean with the bomb. Yeah. Quite, yeah I think that deserves a bomb. <gasps> Whoa. I don't want to get too hyped because I mean it's coffee combos. We gotta keep on the down low. But yo, thank you so much though. Sean, you're a fucking legend, man. You're a fucking legend. It's literally because of you guys uh that I'm able to do this. Like I, I was talking about this in the uh the stream yesterday when we packed up the cheese wall, but it's because of you members, it's because of of um what am I trying to say? It's because of you members, it's because of um of, of the support and those of you guys who go the extra mile. You guys are the reason why I'm able to do this. Um yeah, for sure. You never know. Thanks for the invite, Sean. Yeah, seriously, man. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Dude, the vlog has to be called The Atlanta Adventures. I was thinking about calling it Asteroid Adventures because um, I, I don't really want it to be Atlanta specific just because I'm probably going to keep it going after Atlanta, I, which I don't know what's next after Atlanta. Don't even ask me that. I'm still working, you know, one step at a time. Um, and I may, maybe I'll never leave Atlanta. I don't know. But like, you know, I want to like, I want to future proof it. I want to make sure it's more of like a general vlog sort of title instead of like a, you know, exclusively Atlanta vlog sort of title. So I'm thinking Asteroid Adventures or Asteroids Adventures um, or maybe Asteroid Adventure Vlogs. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I kind of want vlog in the title, but we'll see. We'll see. Let me know which of those you guys like better. Do you guys like... Do you guys like, what's up everybody, welcome to Asteroids Adventures, or do you like, what's up everybody, welcome to Asteroid Adventure Vlogs? I mean, that that one's kind of drawn out, I don't know, I don't know, it's, st it's still up in the air. I'm going to be commissioning uh, that artwork very soon though, like probably tomorrow. I got I got so much art to commission before I leave, man. Also, uh, yo, shameless plug, right? I, just, I don't mean to like, you know, drop a plug on you guys just out of the blue, but this just kind of came to mind. Um, look out for this Wednesday at, um, oh, pfft, oops, Daisy. Look out for this Wednesday at uh, 5 p.m. Central Time. We're going to be doing a live Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke, our next solo project here on the channel. Literally, that's tomorrow. It's going to be fucking insane, man. I'm so damn excited to give this game a shot. I've never played Insurgents, um, and I've heard it's freaking amazing, so I'm damn excited for it. Yo, Primal, my boy, my boy. Boy! Thank you so much for the $20 super chat, dude. Thank you, man. 
Thank you. It's incredibly generous of you. He says, morning, my dude, just dropping in before work. Dude, heck yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Get some eye with the stream for Primal. That's incredibly nice of you, man. Thank you. Ashley holds the camera and talk vlogs. <laughs> Sometimes featuring Ryan. <laughs> uh, Insurgents is great. Yeah, I can't wait. Also, big shout out. Massive shout out to my boy Demo uh, for killing it with the art. His at is just at uh, D-E-M-O-G-O-N, Demogon. Um, he's so damn talented, man. And the art turned out amazing. So shout out to him. Um, anyways, title as Asteroid Adventure Vlog and say welcome back to the Adventure Vlog. That'd be cute. That'd be cute. That would be cute. Jacob, I appreciate the input, man. Thank you. Thank you. I just woke up. F, how are you doing, Dragon Fire Pie? Hopefully, your morning has been great, even though I guess it hasn't really been much yet, but hopefully, it's been great. Thank you for coming out. I'm at work working in vineyards. Nice. Yo, comment down below. What are you guys doing? Like, what's uh, what's your activity right now? You guys at work? You guys, uh, well, I would assume not at school. It's almost July, but. Yeah, comment down below. What are you guys up to? What are you guys doing? It's honestly nice to do a coffee combo. It's a little later in the in the morning, you know? Not so not so early. You get a different set of people, you know? I, I feel like just because it's obviously different availability from different times of day. So, I like it. It's fun. <sighs> Dylan just put a poop emoji in my chat. Nice. Nice, Dylan. I respect it. How, how did you want to review it or would you rather just leave it at that? <laughs> Put put multiple poop emojis like out of five to describe how your how your experience is. Um, Insurgents is such a good game. I can't wait, man. I've never played it. Never played it. I've heard it's amazing. I've also heard it's very difficult, so I'm excited. Playing Smash Bros. Gotcha, gotcha. I had my last final yesterday, so I'm out of school. Dude, heck yeah, Ryan. Heck yeah, man. Hopefully you did well. Prepping for a photo shoot. Nice, nice. I've got coffee combos in one tab and black clover in the other. Heck yeah. This man knows what's up. This man knows what's up. I just got home from college. Just chilling. Nice, nice. I'm about to go for a job interview. Then I have to go uh, I have to go myself to City Hall to hand in my working papers, and I'm nervous. Yo, Soundbreaker, you got this, my guy. You got this. Get some hype. Or not some hype. But just get some good luck up in the stream uh, for Soundbreaker, man. I believe in you, dude. Melissa and Sean. Oh my god! Oh my god! You guys are so nice! Holy shit! Thank you guys so much! Well, first and foremost, Sean with a $13 super chat. Thank you. This man literally has dropped like over $50 now, over $60. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. He says, hey y'all, give me or excuse me, I worded that very very weird. Hey y'all, give me entertainment while I work my job. Twitter is definitely a thing. Look for uh, Dragon Markson. Now, if only I can get a Pokemon named H Haley Use, stare at Dylan and Swide the best mammoth. Yo, Sean, thank you so much, man. This is incredibly nice to you. Um, and absolutely, man, I, I would love to give you a nickname at some point or a Swine up. Or a Dylan. I'll name a Dylan after you. Don't test me, man. Don't test me. I have an army of them at my exp at my exposure. Exposure? Fuck, man. I can't speak to that. I don't know the words. Like, it's very it's very jumbled up in there right now. I just haven't, you know, quite had my coffee yet. Let me... Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, but Sean, thank you so much, man. You're so kind, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Melissa, thank you so much for the $20 donation. Melissa just said, good luck with the move. Stay safe. Thank you, Melissa. That's incredibly nice of you. I really appreciate that. Honestly, you guys being there for me and just and just going with me on this crazy ride um, is, is just fantastic. Like, I literally could not ask for any more than that. Disclosure? Yeah, may maybe that's the word. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, no, like, seriously, you guys just, just being with me on this journey is, um, is really all I can ask for. Just thank you for that. Thank you for that. And, you know, looking at the barren wall behind me, it's, it's sad, but it also just means new adventures, new asteroid adventures on a vlog. I'm excited. Um, yeah, no, it's going to be good though. That's going to be good. My first time, uh, moving out, obviously on my own, it's a little nerve wracking for sure. But I would say if I had to rank it in percentages, I would say I'm like 70% excited, 30% nervous. Like overall, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. We're going to go out there. We're going to kill it. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. My morning has consisted of nothing yet. Gotcha, man. Honestly, some, sometimes those are the best mornings. Just chilling, dude. Hanging. Nice and powerful. Yeah, we have almost 90 people in here. That's insane. Thank you all so much. Also, uh, in case you guys didn't know, I've been messing around with the notification system a lot lately, trying to actually like like wrap my head around how notifications work on YouTube. Uh, and I was doing a lot of research on it the other night. 
And uh, in case you guys didn't know, on YouTube, you have three alerts in a 24-hour period. So this right here, this stream right here, is actually my third alert, which means in order for the alerts to reset, in order for you guys to get an alert for my next upload, which will be the uh, the Deltarune episode today, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually going to have to hold off until... Let me, let me grab my Google Calendar here. Um, oh boy, Google Calendar is not working right now. Okay, I'm going to... I don't know the exact time, but I'm going to have to hold off until like... Oh fuck! I just accidentally opened After Effects. God damn it! Uh, I'm gonna have to hold off until like like seven o'clock tonight, like eight o'clock Central Time, in order to uh, post Delta Rune. And I'm very sorry about that. Um, but this is all part of like the you know playing the YouTube game sort of thing. If I post it before, then you guys literally will not get alerts. And just to clarify, as After Effects is literally opening up right now, can we not do this? Oh Jesus, man! I misclicked so hard right there. That honestly might have been the hardest misclick of my career. Um, yeah, no. So basically, though, with me messing around with these alerts and trying to make sure everything functions, um, I just want to like give a little bit of a PSA here. Uh, I found out that 18% of my audience uh, has the bell icon set to getting all notifications. Or no, no, 27% has the bell icon set to I want to get all notifications. But, but and here's a pretty thick butt, right? And this is this is kind of crazy to think about. But only 18% of that 27% um, of you guys actually gets those notifications literally just because of the fact that in your phone's settings, um, you have YouTube blocked as uh, not getting notifications at all, which means not, no notifications, not only just from me, but from all creators. So I wanted to just make this public because I feel like a lot of people don't know about it. So I'm trying to talk about it more. Um, but on YouTube with notifications, you have three options you have, or per channel, you have three options, no notifications, uh, personalized notifications, which means it sends out notifications to you guys depending on your interest depending on your watch history so it only sends out notifications when it thinks you're gonna like the video that I posted and then third uh, all notifications but before you select any of those, you have to make sure that you actually enable notifications on your phone. Because if you disable it on your phone, then literally you will get no notifications for any uh, YouTube channel. Which is why, you know, I, I almost feel like people disable it on accident and then they don't realize and then they blame YouTube um, for the problem. So um, that's why I just want to make it more public. I don't know. It's like, it's just kind of interesting to, to talk about because I feel like a lot of people don't really know how notifications work on YouTube and to make it more public for like viewers as well as for content creators, uh, I think it's just overall very good. And I, I might even make a video on it once I experiment more with this. Um, so yeah, and that, that's just, that's just to clarify. So if you aren't getting notifications, just make sure, make sure you actually have allowed yourself to get them, if that makes any sense. Uh, will you take the Lapras plushie in Atlanta? Absolutely. Everything in this room is going with me except for the furniture. Uh, I'm not moving my bed. I'm not moving my desk. Uh, and the reason why is because the bed is way too big. Like this, this bitch, this bitch is thick. All uh, right. It's so thick. It, it's probably getting sold with the house, to be honest. Uh, and then this right here, my desk, it's just way too small. Uh, not going to lie. And it's not really meant to be a computer desk it's definitely meant to be more like a study desk so that's why i'm going to be getting a new desk and of course a couch so that's super duper exciting and then uh you know i got all the cheese that's packed up there so that's all coming with me i still have to pack all the stuff on my shelves i also have to pack everything in my drawers um there's still there's still basically 99 percent of my stuff i have to pack i have to get a lot more boxes today or not today i'll probably get them tomorrow uh and start just throwing shit in them to be honest Thick bed, literally, man. Hashtag Couch Crew. You know it's good. Also, look out for a uh, Couch Crew merch coming soon. We got Couch Crew emos. We got Couch Crew merch. Super duper exciting. Hunter Hunter is insane. Dude just got to kill his Godspeed episode, bro. Oh yes, yes, dude. Yes, I I I love Hunter Hunter and I love Killua. I named my computer Killua. I don't know if you guys can really see here, but. I named him Killua. He's he's incredible. And also, I'm really excited because in Atlanta, um, I'm going to do my best to, like, put my computer on my desk instead of under it, um, which that's super exciting because it's it's a pretty beautiful computer. I love my computer a lot. It's kind of depressing that it has to sit kind of buried away underneath my desk. I just don't have enough room, clearly, on my desk for it, and it's a pretty hefty tower. Um, yo, Sean, thank you so much, man. Holy shit, thank you, man. Can we get some hype up in the stream for Sean? Dude, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. He says, you should call the vlog NEAs, scientific term for near-Earth asteroids. They are also called Earth Crossers. Fits with the traveling theme, and with that, I am done $75 even. Bro, thank you, man. Seriously, we gotta get one more just...
Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, man. That's incredibly nice of you. And uh, that's a good idea. That's a really solid name. I'll definitely keep that in mind. For sure, man. For sure. Thank you, dude. Oh, boy. I'm only on episode 21 by Hunter x Hunter. I love it so far. Yeah, Hunter x Hunter is fantastic, man. It's fantastic. It has some of my favorite characters. Like, Killua is literally, I think, my favorite character in anime. Honestly. He's just, he's just incredible. He's just incredible. Have you thought of setting up a P.O. box in Atlanta for people to send you Pokemon plushies to inhabit your couch and background? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've had a P.O. box for like a year and a half now, but my P.O. box has always been really iffy. Uh, not gonna lie. Just the place that I go through is just like, it's just like, they're very bad about keeping track of my packages. They're very bad about honestly everything. <laughs> Um, so that's why, you know, going to Atlanta, uh, we are going to have like a new PO box. I don't know. I don't know if me, Ryan and Dylan are going to get like, like a joint one, uh, or maybe I'll just get my own, whatever ends up happening. Uh, we'll definitely end up getting a new P a new PO box in Atlanta and I'll be sure to update you guys and all that. And hopefully the PO box is much better, much more, uh, responsive. I think is probably the word, um, just, just for everybody you know because it made me really sad like everybody would put so much time and effort into all these packages and i either would get them very late or sometimes not even at all um that p.o box is trash yeah honestly rosie's mama knows firsthand i'm once again i'm very sorry i'm gonna go back there uh when i go to close it and i'm gonna just hope and pray um that they give me something because I, I know you've sent a, a bunch of stuff in the past you still never got that card, huh? You're talking, you're talking about birthday, right? I don't think I ever got a birthday one, no. Um, the last thing that I got was was that big package with all the candy. And even that I got really late. It was, yeah, I mean, part of it was, was I'll be honest, part of, part of it was me procrastinating actually getting there. But another thing was that they never texted me uh, when I would get my packages. And uh, when I went in there, um, like to, to look at it, there would never be anything in the box. And like, like now granted, now granted a lot of the stuff just wasn't, was too big for the box. Um, so they would hold it for me, but when they holded it for me, they never told me it was there. So I'd go in there. Um, and it just, I, I would have no idea I even had a package. Um, you guys should just get one giant PO box. Yeah, honestly, man, honestly, that'd be the move. That'd be the move. Uh, about your what is that Pokemon video? I was screaming to you about the masquerade part. Yeah, dude I I never would have gotten that which by the way shout out to uh, to the hot and cold was your Pokemon video Thank you guys for supporting it. Honestly, I've been having literally so much fun um, Not only doing daily videos, which I'm very proud of by the way, but also also for um, What's it what it was also just just like for doing everything unique, you know, like we, we aren't just doing we aren't just doing daily let's plays like no we're doing we're doing daily like unique um, individual one-off videos and uh, these videos I've honestly been really proud of like in terms of the commentary the editing I've been really going hard with uh, and I I'm just really glad you guys enjoy it. and look out we got a Delta rune coming later tonight uh, probably around like 8 p.m. to you know fit YouTube's uh, crazy alert system and then tomorrow what are we gonna have tomorrow? I don't know what we're gonna. I would pull up my calendar, but the calendar is being weird right now. I don't know. We'll have something tomorrow. So look out. It's gonna be good. Um, I got the mask right and easy. Yeah, that totally flew right over my head. Pun intended. Anyways, Kawa. Oh yeah, tomorrow's when? Well, well, no. I mean on my channel, Ryan. <laughs> I mean on my channel. Yeah, we're actually we're gonna be recording co-op after this. I'm pretty sure. So that's exciting. You're doing good, Asteroid. Thanks, Tempted Pro. Yeah, no. Like I, I was looking at, I was looking at my. So I, I use this app called Habit Bowl, right? Wow, we've almost we've almost been live for 40 minutes. Holy shit, holy shit, man! I I just want to say I love these streams. Honestly, thank you all so much for supporting them. Um, it's just such an awesome like I I love like you know we joke around about coffee combos a lot, uh, like having that coffee clout, you know. But like I literally love these live streams. Like they're just so much fun, man. They're so chill. They they force me to get up in the morning. They they there's a great start to my day. Um. Yeah, so anyways, hang on, what did I upload yesterday? I uploaded the what the what's that Pokemon video and then we streamed. Okay, yeah, so look at look at this, right? Look at this. So in this app called Habit Bowl, let me am I gonna be able to get this to focus? Uh skirt. No. No. Ah. Okay. 
All right, so in this app called Habit Bowl, basically I use it to keep track of my habits. So I have upload every day as well as stream every day. And basically what you do is you just go through and you check yes or no as to whether you did it every single day. And then the cool thing about it is that you can go back and see your history and you can see like, um, you know, how, how successful you were. And if you have like a really long streak going, uh, then it, it, it basically uh, persuades you, it kind of pushes you to make sure you keep the streak going. So right now, as you can see, uh, this is when I got back from my cruise and we streamed that night and then we had an upload Monday and we have been going like that um, all the way up to till today, which I can now check I streamed today. So isn't that cool? Like we literally, we have been... We have been, what, Monday? Yeah, actually yesterday. Yesterday was a full week uh, since we've been 100% consistent with this, which is kind of insane. Honestly, I, I don't think I've ever been, um, I don't think I've ever been this successful with anything scheduling wise um, on my channel, to be honest. So, eh. So not gonna lie, not gonna lie, I'm very proud of myself. What's that app called? It's called Habit Bowl. I'll go ahead, I'll put it down below uh, in the chat so you guys can see the exact spelling and all that. Uh, but it's really cool. It's really cool. You could just kind of check whether you did it or not, and it keeps you accountable for it. So, yeah. Uh, do a tier list about the Pixar movies if that tier list exists. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I think our next uh, tier list video, which, by the way, thank you for uh, watching those, those honestly. Like, th those videos have been doing really well, uh, which is awesome. But I think our next tier list video, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do Legendary Pokemon, and I'm going to do Mythical Pokemon. Uh, and I also think I'm going to do... Um, What's the other one? Megas. I want to do Megas. And I think I also might do like just all the games. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, so look out for those videos. And thank you all so much for supporting them. I know it's been a little bit since we've had a tier list video. Uh, and I, I know I probably should have posted more, you know, ever since they kind of took off uh, a couple weeks ago. But we'll be back. We'll be back with some more for sure. I've just had my schedule so packed with uh, all these other videos I, I've been in the process of making. Like Delta Rune, obviously, which by the way, the schedule for that is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, also, I've been looking to do some other, like I have so many crazy ideas. I want to do this video. And th this one's going to be a little bit out of left field. But I want to do this video video where I play Mario Kart 8 uh, like just with one hand just 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 cuz like <laughs> the whole video is just like a highly edited um, like a highly edited Mario Kart video where I just I go online and I play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with just one Joy-Con like that's like the whole that's the whole thing I think it'd be so funny like literally one hand behind my back and I just I fucking try I just try I'm excited uh, Frank, of course the tier lists are doing good it's a tier list that's true that's true. Yeah, I'm just really glad you guys enjoy them, though, because I've been having a lot of fun with them, and the editing I've been able to put in has been really awesome, and yeah. So that that's one crazy idea I have, I, and I honestly, if the Mario Kart one does well, um, I want to do more games. Like, I want to, like, I want to make it into a series, like, one-handed games, <laughs> and I just, like, go through and I play games one-handed. That'd be funny. Hmm. My Yeti isn't picking up sound out of nowhere. It was working fine, hasn't been knocked over or moved. Any ideas on how to fix it? Um... Oh boy, I would assume you've already restarted your computer, uh, unplugged, replugged it back in, uh, made sure like the, the mute button on the front, that's not clicked right. Um, is it not picking up any sound? Uh, you could also like check your audio settings like in your control panel and make sure that, let me see. Let me see if you go to hardware and sound and then sound. Uh, make sure like under recording devices, if you go to properties, make sure like your levels are set to 100% because if I obviously I lower this down oh wait oh you guys can still hear me what if I hit okay can you guys hear me now you guys can hear me now wow okay <laughs> that's interesting learn something new every day yeah I, I, I guess just make sure that's not enabled I that really backfired I I, I guess all right <laughs> uh, yeah I've been trying for days I have a return in progress but still on my desk gotcha so you you do you do think it's actually broken, like something actually physically broke and it's not like a software thing. Have you you have you tried multiple programs like Audacity, um, and OBS and it's still not working in both? Maybe Discord. Yeah, levels are 100%. Mic is enabled. The computer recognizes it. Just nothing picks up. That's so weird. Maybe reinstall the drivers. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, I think Logitech has has some sort of drivers for that, right? You would think. I know it's plug and play, but. Um, I know there's probably something. Hey, how much longer are we going for, Frank? Great question, Jacob. Uh, probably like 15 minutes, and then we'll be at the hour mark, and then we'll wrap it up. 
Um, but yeah, shout out to Jacob, man. Jacob has been killing it with the after parties. I don't, I don't know if he's going to do one today. Um, but Jacob is freaking incredible. If you guys aren't sub to Jacob, you're doing yourself a disservice, man. The man is so damn talented, honestly. Yeah, he doesn't have drivers. Maybe, maybe try, is it like, is it just the Yeti or is it all of your USB devices? Like, are there more USB devices acting up? Because then, then that could be a USB problem and not, uh, and not a Yeti problem. And, uh, also make sure like, you know, try, try switching, um, try switching USB ports, all that kind of stuff. Um, are there drivers for the Yeti or am I missing something? I, there might, I don't know. I, I feel like they're like, when you first plug it in, I feel like it installs something like there's, there's no way it doesn't. Um, you could, you could look into it. Maybe I got contact me for a soul link series, but the only problem is that he lives in Scotland and I have to wake up at 6 a.m. My days off to record. Think I might cancel it. Oh man, that's unfortunate, man. Yeah. Working with other time zones is hard. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that the people I work with are only like an hour. Like I'm the only one in central time. Well, not for long. I mean, I'm going to be an EST very soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, everybody else is EST. So, I mean, that that's not luckily not that bad. It's only an hour difference. Uh, but I, I couldn't even imagine working with somebody like in the UK. I mean, I fuck, I would love to collab with Dylan or not Dylan. <laughs> I would love to collab with Luke, but, uh, you know, he's very far away and that, that'd be, that'd be a, a conflicting interest of schedules. If I do say so myself, there are drivers for the snowball, but I don't know. Yeah. If there's actually, yeah, if there's drivers for the snowball, there's probably drivers for the Yeti. There's probably some, there's probably some way, uh, if you go like into your device settings, you might be able to like, like right click, check for, check for drivers, check for updated drivers. Something like that, and maybe it'll work. Yeah, assume Frank will join the best time zone. Yeah, buddy. You know, I, I actually like Central Time. It's it's gonna be weird in EST. Like I've I've always lived in Central Time. Um, so that's interesting. That's interesting. I'm Central Time. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Feels weird how there's no cheese in the background. Yeah, yeah. You know, honestly, I it's kind it's kind of like nice. It's a change of pace. Um, it's weird. It's throwing me off, but it is. It's a change of pace, honestly. What's really gonna throw me off is when this room is empty. That's what's gonna throw me off. Like I'm, I'm gonna be walking out of here with like my fucking suitcase and shit and all my boxes, and I'm gonna be like, bro, where did all this shit go? Oh wait, it's coming with me. Yeet. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Also, um, today today's a very busy day. I gotta record a lot, uh, which is why we're doing a coffee combos instead of a regular stream tonight. Um, and that literally the reason why is just cause, uh, I, I'm not probably not going to have time to stream tonight. I just have so much, man. We got to record two episodes of co-op record, uh, two, two or three episodes of three way. I got to record two or three episodes of Delta rune, which is already like fucking nine videos, eight videos, which if, if that, if that happens, if that all gets done today, it'll be a miracle. Um, so that's all, you know, something on the plate. I also got to edit today's Delta rune episode, get that up. Um, I also have to edit, well, actually I, I want to record some other stuff too. Like I, I got to record tomorrow's video, which I don't know what that is yet, but, um, I gotta, I gotta record and edit something for tomorrow. You see my, my problem right now is, you know, I've been, I've been going daily with videos and streams, which is amazing. Like I'm very, very proud of that, but a lot of it has been day of, like, I'm not like, like I'm not ahead. I've been recording ahead. Like yesterday's video, I recorded a couple days in advance. Um, but I haven't been editing in, in a head and I, I've been recording, like I've recording, I've been recording day of like every other day. Um, like today's Delta rune episode is going to be recorded day of, like I have no more episodes recorded of that. So that makes it kind of tough because with this move and all that, um, if I want to like stay consistent throughout this, I'm really going to have to like be ahead. And by ahead, I mean like, like a week, honestly, like a week ahead is, uh, is going to be the, the move. Uh, pun intended. So that's, that's, what's kind of worrying me right now is just like over these next, oh, over this next week, basically I have 10 days until I move. I have to prep, um, and like get ready enough content to last me, um, throughout this week or the, like the move week. So I feel like you change up your upload schedule. Yeah. You know, um, like th this whole daily stream, daily video thing. I, I don't know how long it's going to last, like I, I've, I've been going hard with it and I, I want to keep it going into Atlanta. Uh, but in Atlanta, it, it might be harder, honestly, because obviously I'm going to have to get settled in. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, moving, obviously, uh, we're going to be working on like 2v2 soul link as well as I'm going to have a lot of intros to make. So, uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. And also, you know, with how much company we're going to have over in July, uh, cause Dylan sleep block is the 20th. So literally throughout the entire month of July, we're going to have so much company in town. So I'm going to do my absolute best, 
uh, to keep things rolling. And also with Insurgents, uh, which you guys know, shameless plug, you already know it's good, starts tomorrow, 5 p.m. CT, it's going to be fucking amazing. Um, anyways, with Insurgents, that series is probably not going to be totally consistent. My goal for it is to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Oh boy. Um, that's my goal. That's my plan. And I, I should be able to stick to that up until I move. But then once I move, we're probably going to miss an episode or two. Um, uh, just like with the 4th of July and with, uh, you know, obviously me getting settled in. So like that, that week, that week that is the 4th of July plus me moving that week, we'll probably miss a couple of episodes, um, of, of, uh, insurgents. But after that, we'll be back in it and we'll, we'll finish up insurgents in a reasonable amount of time. Hopefully, um, yo, Sean, thank you so much, man. You didn't have to do that. Thank you, dude. He says, Frank, listen to starlight brigade by twerp. Twerp. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll add it to my playlist. I don't know if I can play it on stream just because of copyright and uh, and stuff like that, but I'll definitely go ahead and uh wait. Wait! Is this is this is this Game Grumps? Is this Ninja Sex Party? Is this is this the Dan Avedon? Bro. Oh, I definitely gotta listen to that then. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sean, thank you for the suggestion, man. And thank you for the super chat. You didn't have to do that, man. Thank you. Uh, so this man's been coming through all freaking morning. Thank you, man. That's so nice of you. I appreciate it. Danny's in it. Dude, fuck yeah. I love Ninja Sex Party. Mm. Love Ninja Sex Party. Tupperware Remix Party. Okay, yeah, that's their name. That's their name. You know, it sounded familiar. It sounded familiar because I I've seen them in, in, in uh, um, Ninja Sex Party. NSP. Watch the video. The animation is awesome. Oh, dude, heck yeah. It's awesome. That's awesome. I am the Unicorn Wizard Ninja Sex Party. Yo, question day. If you guys listen to Ninja Sex Party, what's your favorite song by them? Um, I would probably say... I would probably say... Um, I would probably say either Release the Kraken or Danny Don't You Know. That'd probably be the move. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of good songs by them. Um, but I, I really like their new album the best, for sure. For sure, man. It's a bop. It's a bot. Are there bots here again? Because I'm going to beat the shit out of them like I did last night. Nah. No bots. No bots. Not, not yet. Not yet, at least. Yo, Janelle, thank you so much, though, uh, for, for, for taking on the bot army for me. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, we have about eight minutes left of the stream. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, me and Ryan got to record co-op, and also I you know, just got a shitload of videos to record outside of that. And also, I got to run some errands today. So, it's going to be a little busy. Dinosaur laser fight. Oh, yeah. That's a classic. That's a classic, dude. That's an absolute classic. I love that song. Have you listened to Starbomb? Yes. Uh, I've listened to most of Starbomb. Uh, there's a couple of songs I haven't heard yet, but for the most part, I, I really like Starbomb. It's fantastic. I'm a big fan of like anything Game Grumps. Um, they're just they're just great, man. They're just great. They make such great content. And you know, it's kind of rare that like I watch Let's Play content, um, much less like non-edited Let's Play content. But like, dude, their their back and forth is just so good. Uh, their comedy is so good and it's just, it's great. And also their videos are short enough to where you can kind of just binge them. And, uh, and also they're just very fast paced, which is sweet. So anyways, anyways, how are you feeling? Excuse me. How are you feeling about Dylan Ryan replacing you with Luke? I think it's great. I think it's great. You know, we, um, for the longest time to kind of get serious about this for a second here, uh, for the longest time, we've been very exclusive if that makes sense, like, uh, like Vinny only did versus his versus his only did versus with Dobbs. Uh, Dylan only did soul links with Ryan. I only did soul links with Vinny. Uh, Vinny and Dylan only did cage lock. Like we were very like exclusive, you know, like Vinny, Vinny and I were soul link partners. That was the series that we do. Uh, Ryan Dylan were soul link partners. That's, you know, they're exclusive. Like Dylan wouldn't go and do another soul link because you know, him and Ryan are soul link partners. So we, we were very like, we we're very tight knit about that. Uh, but this year, clearly, I mean, with, you know, like me, Ryan and Vinny doing a co-op, a three-way co-op with Dylan, uh, Vinny and Dobbs doing a co-op or a three-way or, uh, you know, or Ryan, Dylan and Luke doing a three-way or uh, Vinny and Dylan doing a soul link like those, those different combinations. Um, clearly, as you guys can see, we, we've been mixing things up. We've been mixing things up and there's no hard feelings, uh, honestly. Uh, when it comes to like, you know, when Dylan and Vinny were going to do a soul link, they, they, they both hit us up. Uh, and they asked me and Ryan and they were like, Hey, you guys cool with this? If we, if we do this and we were like, yeah, go for it. Um, and like, even, even when, you know, me, Ryan and, uh, uh, Vinny did our co-op, like Dylan knew about it. Uh, you know, and, and he knew, he knew that, um, 
he knew that you know we'd be we'd be doing it even though our initial three-way partner was dylan like the initial three-way that we had was uh, me ryan and dylan so yeah um what am, I what am I trying to say here? Basically, is we're trying to mix things up. We're trying to mix things up to keep it interesting. Uh, and also, it's just uh, it's just good. It's just good to mix things up. You know, like the exclu the exclusivity is is cool, but that also gets you know kind of uh, kind of lackluster after a while. Like you know, I'm sure a lot of people wanted to see Vinny and Dylan do or yeah, Vinny and Dylan do a soul link like that. That sounds awesome, right? And their soul link is awesome. So. And I'm sure a lot of people want to see, like, for example, yeah, me and Ryan to do a Solink. Me and Ryan, we would love to do a Solink. We would love to do a Solink. And that's now an option down the line just because we've decided to mix things up. And uh, just to clarify, you know, when, when we joke around about getting fired, it's it's always a joke, you know. Uh, it was always, like, with our permission, like, you know, no one's going behind each other's backs or anything like that. We joke around that we got fired just because it's funny, but, like, you know, it's clearly a joke. Yo, my boy Bill Sony's up the stream. What's up, Basil? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you for coming out, man. Um, is Insurgent Sleep Block or just live? It's just live. It's just live. It's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, we're going to be going in. Part one drops Wednesday, and we'll probably go for like two hours uh, or maybe more, depending on how I'm feeling. But yeah, we'll go We'll go for a little bit. It should be a, should be a fun time. Yo, speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Got Luke on the stream. What's up, Luke? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? We were literally just talking about mixing things up with you, uh, Dylan, and Ryan's three-way, and uh, how we were, I was talking about, like, how we're kind of throwing away the exclusivity, and we're kind of mixing things up, branching out, doing different projects with other people, so it's fun. It's a good time, but anyways, um, I hate to be that guy. We got to wrap up in, like, four-ish minutes. Um, that'll be the move. Ah, pun intended. You see, I'm moving. Ha, ha, ha. That's the joke. Yeah, no, so... I don't know. Any last minute questions you guys have? We'll go ahead and, and get this rocket and rolling. As I said, I got to run errands and also I got to record a shitload of videos today. But anyways. Hmm. Collab with the heat of Mo. Dude, I would love to collab with Mo. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Like literally we recorded me, Ryan and Mo. We recorded um, that one episode of Cage Lock, which by the way, if you guys didn't see it, I highly recommend it. Um, it's so damn funny, man. Like recording with them two is just hectic as all heck. Um, but it was so good, man, being on their series and making a cameo like that. I would love to do, like, a dedicated three-way with them. Uh, or just doing a soul series. Or not soul series, but, like, a co-op with Mo. That'd be sick. But, yeah, I think the exclusivity can restrict, honestly. Yeah, honestly, I, I agree. You know, for the longest time, we were very, like, exclusive. Like, you know, me and Vinny, we just did soul links. Uh, Ryan and Dylan, they just did soul links. Ry or Dylan and Vinny, they just did cage locks. And, uh, you know, it's I guess it's kind of cool having that exclusivity. But I think it's also cool. And I think it's better long term uh, to be able to mix things up. I think it's better to be able to switch things around because I'm sure a lot of people, you know, wanted to see Dylan and Vinny do a soul link. Uh, and now that that's finally a thing, like that's that's obviously really cool. So mixing things up, I think, is definitely the best way to do it. And also just branches everybody out, opens every, everybody up to new options. And actually, Dylan even mentioned this, but like, you know, after a long while of like the original, like, you know, team up the original uh, selection of people not doing a project together, them coming back and doing a project together back again, um, like the good old days, like that's going to be hyped as shit. Like when me and Vinny do another soul link or when, um, you know, when me, Ryan and Dylan bring back uh, the three way, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic. I legit watched the three way co-op that you, Ryan and Dylan did on Diamond and Pearl. Great stuff. Check it out if you haven't. Peace. Um, yeah, no, I'm really glad you liked it. I'm really glad you liked it, man. Honestly, that, that series with Dylan, uh, is, is one of my favorites, man. Like the three way with Dylan is just so good. It's such a classic. Some of the best intro moments we've had, to be honest. What? Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. I'll be like five minutes. That was my Nana. Shout out to my Nana. She's in town for a little bit. Cause I have my grad party on the 22nd or yeah, 22nd of June. So there's going to be a lot of family from Chicago coming in town. In case you guys don't know. In case you guys don't know, um, what am I trying to say? Most of my family is from Chicago. Like, basically, all my family is from Chicago. We're down here in Tennessee. So, everybody's traveling. Everybody's traveling for my grad party. Super duper excited. Uh, it's going to be awesome. The Dolph Ranks on the layout was funny, and Ryan's and Moe's cage. Like, oh, yeah, dude. It's it's just, it's so, it's so fucky. It's so fucky. But that's what makes it so good, honestly. That's so, that's part of the appeal of, um, like, the three-way co-op on Vinny's channel with Ryan and, and Vinny. Like, I just, I love how chaotic it is. It's just so good. Wait, Ashley graduated? No. No. What? What? You know, I would go put on my gown, but nah. It's too much work. Too much work. Um, yeah, no. Look look out, though, my dudes. We have some new merch coming soon for, for graduation hype. I'm so excited, man. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome. I watched the episode, you lazy-ass bitches. <laughs> yeah, we literally, the last episode, we recorded in bed. It was so funny, man. 
It was so good. Well, Frank, where'd you graduate from again? <gasps> high school. What? What? Oh my God. He graduated from high school. Did you guys hear the Astro Mini videos? Graduated from high school. Oh my God. Oh my God. I heard he's going to plug merch. I heard he's going to you know, drop some pretty sick merch for that. No, no way. Oh my God. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day, though. Thank you all so much for coming out. We just hit uh, the hour mark, so I think we'll go ahead and uh, and wrap this up. I think Jacob's going to be hopping on the after party soon. If you guys don't know... Oh, boy. My phone just went off. Okay. If you guys don't know... Um, in case you guys don't know, my boy Jacob, also known as Equinox, he does after parties with this uh, with this live stream series. So if you guys are looking for some more content, if you're looking for a continuation of the coffee combos, be sure to go ahead and support my boy Jacob. He's so damn talented. He makes freaking amazing content. We're going to be doing a cage lock uh, in the future, so that's super, super exciting. Shout out to my man. I don't know who Ashley is, but I know you graduated high school. Yeah, man, you just kind of hear it around the block, you know? Um, but seriously, thank you all for everything. You guys are the absolute best. Your support tonight was amazing. Big shout out to Sean, uh, especially man. That was incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank you all for everything. And, uh, and with that, um, I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to show Jacob some love. Hashtag Asteroid Raid. Look out for a new Delta Rune episode tonight, as well as, of course, the Insurgents does lock tomorrow, Wednesday, June 19th, 5 p.m. Central Time. It's going to be freaking sick. I love you all. Thank you all for everything. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Bye! Oh, shoot, Sean. Thank you, Mason's Bye! <laughs>